hey guys welcome back so this is the second part of the video the first part has been done i've been uploaded it so check the description box to see the link to the first part of the video make sure you watch this video to the end and you will get everything so for the design that will be on it is going to be having twisting around it like this i'm going to twist it and attach it to the front so i'll be using the fabric i showed you earlier the crepe, yellow crepe, and the circular fabric with my wall in this side. So this wording I just cut out two inches. If you want them to be bulky, you know, just cut out the same element with the fabric you cut out. I cut out four inches here. I don't want it to be too big. That's why I cut two inches here. You can cut it four inches, four inches, and fold it in together and sew. The same apply to this. So I cut out the same element. Now I'm going to fold it into two like this. The, that is the wrong side. On the wrong side and I will paste the wording on it. And so at one hand. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the yellow. I'm going to sew where it is open the loom and pull it out. Better still, let me just sew the this thing alone without the wording. So that you can be able to, it will be easy for me to turn out. So I'll just sew it straight and insert it separately inside it. I'll sew the fabric straight. I have sewed it and I've inserted this one to it. So let me tell you how I inserted it. So before I turn it out, after sewing, just use your safety pin to turn it out. So I'll come out from the other end. Now I'm going to come out from the other end. I'm going to remove the safety pin. So now you can just go ahead to iron it. So because I have so this one, this one I have read, uh, this one is not bigger than this, but I'm not going to reduce it. So I want it to be to have effect inside it, like to be big inside it. And I'm going to, can you see what I'm doing? Let me do it like this. Fold it into two and insert it inside. So that is the, the outfit. You'll be fully the folding like using the safety pin to do it. So you can see, so I'm going to come out from the other end. So you can now cut this out. I didn't tell you the measurement I use for this, for the length, for the wording and for the fabric. I use 35 inches. 35 inches. So if there's any excess, you can just thin it out. Now I'm going to take my needle and thread, put my thread inside the needle. And we're going to join the two ends together like this so that we can able to twist. I'll join the two ends together. Now I will go ahead to twist it. So this is how we're going to twist. I will want for something to hold it so that I can able to twist. You roll this one and you roll this one and twist. I'm going to do this off camera, but I believe you know how to twist. Make sure you twist it very well. Twist to the left, not to the right. Twist to the left. When you are twisting, roll this and you use your hand to roll this and twist to the left. You are twisting to the left. So when you twist to the left, you twist well. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what to do. Now you might not really twist, you can just take it over the other color like this. You might not really twist. Here you see. So let me go ahead to twist and show you the next thing. I said it earlier that you should twist to the left. No. For you to have a perfect twist, twist to the right. Twist to the right. So I'm going to join these together. Don't forget, I use two inches, two inches, and I mean four inches by 20, 35 inches. 
I don't even know what I ate this morning and that. I'm just making a mistake. 4 inches for the fabric by 35 inches. That is what I use. So don't forget to use, if you, are, if you want to achieve the same design I achieve here, don't forget to use that measurement. Now I'm going to join it together like this. I'm going to join it together like this. So I will sew it. I later reduced the length of this to 34. You know, I said I used 25, 35. I reduced it to 34 so that I can able to enter this. So let me just go ahead to sew it to this. So this thing will be detachable. It'll be a detachable design on the Zara cap. So you can use decide to use the Zara cap alone or use this with the Zara cap. That will be TV in one. You can use this one alone, this alone, or use the two together. Yeah, so we're done with this. Is a you can just decide to make your own bigger than this, it depends on your choice. So I can just insert it like this. You can see that it's firm. So before I used 35, when I discovered that it's going to be bigger than it, I use 34 now. Now, the design that will be at the back is going to be attached to this design that I, I inserted. So I will I attach it to this side. I will attach the design to this side. Now for the design that will be at the back of the twist, I will be needing this screen. Two years of cream like that is 72. In the same length of Ankara. It might not necessary. If you are using one yard of Ankara, I think you should be able to do this. I don't know the yard of Ankara I use, but it shouldn't be more than one yard. So your own design might not necessarily be this, but I just want to come. I just want to do something nice. That's why I use it this Ankara inside this green line. So now I will remove this thread. I don't need it. I will remove it what we are going to do on the cleaning line and the fabric is this the measurement is seven inches why this for the cleaning line i think it's six and a half or about seven inches this is right is it like this i think it's seven inches seven inches so that this one too is seven inches. So I'm going to place it like this. Place it on it. And so sorry, this will be outside the Ankara. I'm going to place it like this. This is the right side of the Ankara and place it on it and so on the right side of the Ankara. So the pin line straight at the two edge. The two edges. I'm going to sew it straight. The two edges. Yeah, I have sewn one hand. You can see. So when I sewn, I discovered that this fabric will be too big. So I try to mail my mail six inches from one end to this end. I mean, this is that is why I chopped it out. So I'm going to cut out the six inches so that the fabric will not be too big. Than the queen line, so I'm going to cut it out and sew the edge just like the way I sew the this place. I have it sewn at the two sides just like the way I described, and I applied my this is on the hair to secure the fraying edge so allow it to dry. Now we gather it together. Or we fold in the two, fold in the two this way. I'm going to take my thread and do a running stitch. Start the running stitch from here. I can first try to secure this edge, then continue. It's because of the um go on my foot that is why it's very hard like that so i can just continue that is the the main reason why we sew is just for us to be easy to be easy for us to 
pass the thread inside so that it won't be moving from one place to the other. So I'm going to do the running stitch through everything. So we have something like this. Now, after you have passed all the thread through everything, just leave the thread alone. <laughs> Don't touch it. So go to the edge, draw the edge together, like draw it together. We form like two to three sets, or what should I call it? So draw and make the base to be big. We are making the base big. Just look at what I'm doing. So this side is going to serve as me. This side is going to serve as the base. I will take another needle and thread. Leave this one in I'm not going to touch that one. I'll take another needle and thread and let me draw this thread so that I won't I think. I'll take another needle and thread. So I'm going to sew just to secure it together so that we can form another circle on it. And brush it. It might be a little bit tedious, but just patiently work on it. Now I will have to the second thread I need to that I used to sew the first base together. I'm going to secure it like knot it. So when I'm done with this, so this first thread I need to I'm going to draw everything together so when i do i'm not just draw everything to form tv to form tv one two three i'm going to use it to form two only to so i will adjust it so i will adjust it can you see i'm going to adjust it like this So now I'm going to sew it together. Just try to sew it in a way that is going to stand. Stand very well. Now this one is formed. Can you see how it's beautiful? Now I'm going to attach it. You can use your glue and you can use your needle and thread to attach it. When you are sewing, please make sure your own is neat here. Don't mind this one, I'm going to look for something to, 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 to eat. So I'm going to attach it to it, just like this. I will, look, I will just look for how I'm going to use my needle and try to do it in a very neat way. Very neat way. So there's no any special way to sew it. Sorry, it call came in, that is what interrupts this video the other time. So there's any specialty in the sewing, just sew it the way you can do it. So what I did is I also this side and move to this side so that it can be very firm. After that, I'll look for something to cover this place. To cover it using my hot view. I will look for the fabric to cover this side. Hope you get what I'm saying. I, this video is already long. So I will skip this side. I will and show you the next thing to do. Yeah, this is how it's going to be look to be. Make sure it's very tight. So for this side, I will look for something like this to cover the eyes so, so that it will be neat. Can you see where I saw? So I will look for something like this. I'll do that later. Now get for us to cover this place you can use your rose, can buy any rose at the market. I will be using the fabric, the yellow fabric to form a rose side. I mean, I do not have any mail on my table. Let me get my table so I can mail it. For me, if this is too, this video is too long, I just wanted to get every part of the video, 9 inches by 3 inches. Hold your fold into two and do your running stitch from here. You know, many of you are familiar with this. I just feel like showing you that's why I'm doing the video. 
So do the running stitch to the other end. So I did not change the measurement, so that one is so small, it doesn't really cover that place. 4 inches by 10 inches. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just draw everything together and bring the two sides together like this. Now I'm going to look for a stone to put here and use my hot glue to attach it to it like this and we are good to go. So I'll just use my hot glue to attach it, apply, look for a big stone to cover this rough edge and we are good to go. So I'm going to show you the finished look and you will see that this is lovely. You can use this alone, you can use this alone and you can also use it together so you can use it together it's going to be like this can you see how beautiful it's going to be you can even place this at the side or by the front anyhow all right guys you will see the finished look on my on me and on my mannequin <laughs> all right guys and it can size anybody can you see please make sure don't forget to cover this side with your fabric to make your work neat and attach this to it or you look for any those to do use to do that thank you bye bye